If you've looked through our videos, you'll have seen that we've tried out and reviewed lots of mobile internet solutions. These normally fit into two rough groups. Professional routers like those from Teltonica that recognize the mobile market as a large customer base and consumer routers from the likes of Huawei aimed at use in the home as a replacement for wired internet. While D-Link seemed to be one of the first consumer router manufacturers to realize that there is a market for their LTE cellular devices outside of the home, demonstrated in their marketing and the use cases on their box. So they've sent us their AX1500 Eagle Pro AI router to try out. So keep watching to see what we think of it. Don't forget to check out our other videos on everything campervan and motorhome related, from solar to water, heating to gadgets, tyres to trips. If you like this video, please do hit the thumbs up. It really does help me to know what you like, and you can ask any questions or give feedback in the comments. If you want to make sure you don't miss any of our future videos, please hit the subscribe button and clicking the bell will give you a notification when a new video goes live. Finally, if you do decide to hit the thumbs down, it would be great if you could also leave a comment so I know what you didn't like. Currently with 23% off its normal price, making it just over £130 using the product link in the video notes, what are the key features that make the Eagle Pro suited to use in a campervan, motorhome or caravan? Well, it's got external antenna connections. It's 12 volt powered. It's got a category 6 4G plus modem, meaning it can aggregate multiple LTE bands together to give better performance. It's enabled with AI to optimize the Wi-Fi performance and traffic. It's got a comprehensive comprehensive app for setup and configuration so no need for a laptop or trying to use the browser configuration on a small screen like a phone. Useful for some is the potential dual use rather than just sitting unused if you're not away in your van. At home you can use it for your wired broadband and it can simply be plugged in to enable the benefits of Wi-Fi 6 AI optimization and automatically switch you to the mobile connection if your wired broadband goes down. But now let's take a look at what comes in the box. So I would say simplicity is at the heart of the Eagle Pro. Its SIM card slot is easily accessible. Here you can see its 12 volt power connection and its LAN sockets and you can see its external antenna connections. The simple instructions out of the box is all you need to set it up. We've got the on unit antennas should you want to use those. An ethernet cable. the mains power unit and a SIM adapter to make sure that your SIM card can fit. So after installing the Eagle Pro AI app, it is simply a case of running it and a step-by-step -step guide takes you through the setup. I've sped this up as it's a bit boring to watch, but it really couldn't be more simple. After scanning the barcode on the router, it tells you exactly what to do to get it connected, change your passwords and optimise it for your use. If you don't have a smartphone, you can set it up through a laptop, but the app makes it really easy. Before we take a look at how it performs, let's see how our 4G phone does inside the camper van. So we've got a reasonable 7 megabits per second download, but a terrible 0.04 megabits per second upload. So in our first test of the Eagle Pro, let's try it with its own antennas connected and see how it performs. So we've got roughly the same 7 megabits per second download but a much better upload of 1.76 megabits per second. But the router comes into its own because we can connect it to that external antenna and we're using a pointing MIMO 3. After a bit of a slow start, we can see the speed increases and we end up at around 11 megabits per second. and the upload is dramatically increased to around 8 megabits per second. 
Back in the app we can see that it shows us everything that is worth knowing, and much more than most routers do. As normal we can see the devices that are connected, but we can also see the details of the mobile connection, including exactly what bands are being used, the signal strength for each band, and the cell ID we are connecting to. This is the Huawei router that we've tested previously. Now one point to note is that on our Huawei router we do set our SSIDs different for our 2.4 and our 5G network. Now you're not able to do this on the D-Link but we'll see later why that is. Performance wise we can see that the Huawei and the D-Link perform pretty much the same with a slightly lower download speed but a slightly higher upload speed but not incomparable. Those of you that have seen my review of the Huawei router will know that it is possible to get the band information by running a script against it um, and then be able to set the bands. Now you can't set the bands with the D-Link but all the information is there as native in the app which is a bonus over having to hack to get that information on the Huawei. A great feature of the app with the D-Link is that it gives you notifications when you're away from the router over the web if the router goes down. The Eagle Pro comes with Wi-Fi 6 which has the potential to perform better than the standard Wi-Fi on the Huawei. One of the advanced features with Wi-Fi 6 is with enabled devices it may actually save their battery power by allowing them to go to sleep. Now remember what I said about not being able to set different SSIDs for 2.4 and 5 gigahertz Wi-Fi. Well this is why the smart connection technology will make sure your device is connected to the optimum Wi-Fi and that the Wi-Fi is operating on the optimum channel. The built-in AI quality of service functionality, rather than lumping all the tasks that are being done to on your Wi-Fi together, will prioritise them based on their demand. For example, making sure that your streaming services get the priority over your emails. We know that most things now come with a level of voice control and often it's a bit of a gimmick. But for others, it can be pretty useful. For example, if you have a guest Wi-Fi network, maybe for your kids to connect to, it means you can simply ask Alexa or Google to turn it off when you want the bandwidth for something more important, rather than having to mess around in the router configuration to do it. Alexa, ask Eagle Pro AI to switch off the guest Wi-Fi. Okay. The guest Wi-Fi network has been disabled. So finally, overall, what do we think? Well, being marketed for use in vehicles is great, and it has a great app that's easy to use to control, and the remote notifications keep you up to date. Voice control makes it really simple to use, and the Wi-Fi and traffic optimization, which is really beneficial when you're moving locations all the time, is great to see. Device prioritisation means that you can be able to direct the bandwidth you have for the tasks that need it. It also helps to earn its keep at home if you want to use it with your normal broadband to add Wi-Fi 6 and that automatic backup of LTE should your broadband go down. If the Chinese ownership of Huawei and TP-Link worries you, then D-Link may be an alternative to consider, given it has a Taiwanese parent company and D-Link Europe Limited is based here in the UK. Now, just for balance, after I completed a firmware update, the router threw a bit of a wobbly and I had to do a full reset to get it working again. But that could have been something that I did wrong. I do love the ability to see the LTE bands it's actually connected to, but it would be amazing if, it were, if I was able to manually control them. And whilst I appreciate the automation of moving devices between 5GHz and 2.4GHz Wi-Fi, personally, I'd like the option to set individual SSIDs so I can decide. But overall, if you are looking for a high quality and extremely easy to set up and use mobile internet solution, then the D-Link Eagle Pro AI is one I would definitely consider. Thanks for watching our video and as always, if you have any questions or feedback, please pop them in the comments below. If you find the video useful, please like, share and consider subscribing.